Hey guys, sorry, uh, still offloading this. I forgot to update you guys on, uh, inside here. Let's see if my door. I found all this. I forgot, like, see, I still got the same stuff, so I'm not, it's nothing new. Uh, I got all this at the hospital also. It's, uh, a bunch of wire, tons of it. Uh, not bad for one of my first actual scraps, but it's pretty, pretty nice wire. I'm guessing it's number one. Uh, little headphone set, part of that eviction. Same with this. I heard my buddies told me I don't play Xbox anymore and stuff, but this is supposed to be a special edition. It only came up for a bit or some Zelda maybe or something, I'm guessing, by the colors. A uh, little first aid kit. I don't have one for my truck. Now I do. Uh, you know it's a cheaper one. And uh, some more wire. Tons of it down here. Found two extension cords that were... Uh, two extension cords that were still good. Uh, I don't know why anybody would throw that out. But I think somebody accidentally threw out, like, say, their father's storage. Or father's shop. Found this too. Mobile One. Where's the 5W30? And it is still new. I think this is the one. Yeah, look. Still new. So, it's pretty good. I'll probably. I don't know. I don't know if I'd use that for my truck. But maybe. It's 5W30. I got a 5.7 liter V8. I'm no mechanic, but. I, uh, what else have we got? Got uh, two full bottles of power steering. That one feels like a leak, but yeah, two bottles are a power steering. Uh, this bottle, another one, but smaller, and uh, it's opened, but you can tell it's new oil. Hopefully, I don't spill it here. Don't know if you can see it in there. Pretty, pretty clear. It's cold, so it's gonna be a little thicker right now, but it's pretty, pretty clear oil. So it's I'm guessing somebody was in the process of uh, work on their thing but uh, and then here's a little uh, oil drain bin no cracks this is one of those little uh, piston wrenches those are handy I have one oh yeah I found these these were awesome I don't even have a pair of these believe it or not wire strippers I heard they suck but uh, they've helped me out a couple times because I just found out the front of my you know the cord to plug in your uh, your truck that got ripped off somehow and I always make sure I well actually this winter I haven't had my truck plugged in most of the winter oh and I do plug in I remember and then I found two of these I can't find the other one might have dropped out but brand new uh, funnels I can't believe I had to think about that for a sec uh, where's that piece uh, I don't know where that piece is. Get in there. Oh, and then there's just tons of more stuff. It's my father over there. This is my father's place. Uh, because I was in town, found out that rent is way too expensive. It's not worth me spending twelve fifty on rent. Plus utilities. Sorry if you didn't hear that, but I was paying twelve fifty, and that's about the usual over here. And then I found this. Uh, I'm, this is like the pivot, I think. Uh, left, left bottom pivot. It's brand new. See, there's a tag and everything. It's all painted black. Nice, nice threaded holes and stuff. But uh, there's all the information for Ford. Uh, from, I'm guessing from Ontario or going to Ontario, but this was in the dump. Can you believe that? Like somebody had to probably pay like I don't even know what one of these cost. Um, yeah. And if any of you uh, scrappers out there, price that's loud. If any of you scrappers want like some advice, I've owned quite a few vehicles now, and I would have to say I'm not vouching for the new ones but the older ones i vouch for the dodges uh my dad's owned dodge he's also owned older fords uh but 
there's always problems. And then uh, my stepmom, she has a 2015 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. Cheap on gas, it gets about 800 kilometers per uh, for full tank, but uh, it's been in the shop more times than this truck, and this truck is an 05 Dodge Ram. And uh, it's got the 5.7 liter. It's 4x4, really, which comes really in handy because over here there's like no such thing as snow plows. So, um, but yeah, if you see those pallets go way back there, I'll even take you around uh, just to show you what I have so far because you know how uh, a lot of you scrappers and that, or a lot of people that watch scrappers, seen that. They always do this little introduction. I'm not much into YouTubing and stuff, but I want to get involved into it because, like, I don't know. I just figure I should catch up on times a little bit. So, and I'm only 26, and I, uh, but, you know, I've always been like this. Even when I was younger, I was, it's kind of coming from my dad's side. Uh, but yeah, there's some more pallets right next to the river, but I don't really care. And uh, under there's a sink. I gotta take off the, I'm gonna take off the copper if there's any brass. There's a sink. <sighs> well, I don't know. I better get to work. These are two greenhouses. Huh, plane flying over. Loader. Uh, it's a diesel, but it's something went on. I think an air block or something. I'm gonna have to. It's my father's, but I'm helping him work on it it's a bugger when it's cold out like this two uh two of his greenhouses that he doesn't use anymore i just use them for storage containers well storage places this van these vans are good if you ever want a good ford i'll vouch for this ford right here these vans are awesome and uh yeah it's a lot of nice stuff and you know i never call it junk i call it treasures actually because there's things worth money all the time. Well, I'll let you go. I got a lot of work to do.